Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Superman and Lois Season 2 Review Series. And today I am going to be talking about Episode 12, Lies That Bind, which I have just finished watching. And once again, this show continues to do what it does best and that's deliver yet again another fantastic episode. And this episode was more or less picking up where we left off at the end of episode 11 where we saw Clark Kent finally reveal his secret identity to Lana Lang. Now that was quite an interesting ending and there are a couple of things I want to talk about before we get into talking about episode 12. Anybody who's read the Superman comic books or has seen the cartoons or even watched Smallville, Lana Lang for most of those interpretations knew that Clark Kent had powers. So I find it quite interesting that in Superman and Lois they decide to go a different path. So instead of traditionally knowing that Clark had powers from the very beginning, Lana Lang didn't find out till years later in adult life. So very interesting take on that revelation. And I thought the way Clark revealed himself to Lana was pretty cool, I thought. You know, very similar to how he revealed himself to Lois Lane, as we saw in the flashbacks back in Season 1's pilot episode. And I've been looking forward to seeing this episode and seeing the aftermath of Lana learning this shocking revelation. And I thought they did a pretty good job handling that. And... As we saw also in episode 11, we saw a bizarro Jonathan Kent trying to merge with Jonathan Kent of this world. He kidnapped Lana Lang and, of course, Superman saved her. And we also learned that Ali has already merged with her bizarro self. So she's now essentially got a power of a god. So lots of cool stuff went on there and this episode was a great continuation of episode 11 so i really enjoyed this one a lot this episode also saw the return of tal ro who i thought was absolutely phenomenal in this episode and he's kind of become like how should i put it the mcu's loki so to speak so he's a villain but he bore the lines on anti-hero so it's almost like They've kind of taken the concept of Thor and Loki and just kind of added it to Superman and Lois. So even though Superman and Talro hate each other, Superman begrudgingly comes to Talro for help. And Talro, of course, is relishing the idea that his half-brother is begging him for help. So got to see more of that. And it was great to see Talro back. He's a great villain and seems like they're pushing him to more of a anti-hero so he's not fully a good guy but he still has his own agenda just like always and he always looks at it like well i'll help you but i want something in return so you know his services quotes and quotes don't come cheap so this episode dealt with that and he played a big part to this episode very interesting and something happens to him at the end which we'll get into in a moment but overall this was very very good i really enjoyed this episode a lot so with that all said let's get straight into it let's talk about episode 12 lies that bind so this episode pretty much picks up from the end of clark's shocking revelation that we saw in episode 11 and we see lana quickly puts the pieces together of why clark kent acted so strange at times why he was constantly disappearing and Clark finally explained why he left Smallville without saying a word. And understandably, Lana is hurt by the years of deception. We also see Jonathan Kent's expulsion for taking ex kryptonite drugs is reversed and he's allowed to go back to school. But of course, tension with his old football teammates are still visible as they blame him for their football season being cancelled. And of course, Lana, after having taken some time to reflect on the shocking news that she received from Clark 
She expresses her anger and frustration at Lois Lane, feeling that their friendship has been established purely on a set of lies. Interesting uh, scenes with Lois and Lana. The interesting thing about Lois and Lana, going by what I always remember in the comics and the cartoons, Lana Lang and Lois Lane were never what you would call bosom buddies. They were never best friends. You know, of course, Lana being Clark Kent's childhood sweetheart, Lois always got a bit jealous of being the third wheel. And I wouldn't say they disliked each other, but they didn't like each other either. So, you know, Lana always liked to rub in the fact that, well, I've known Clark since forever and he shared everything with me in more ways than one. Wink, wink. And, you know, it's quite an interesting dynamic that they went with this route that Lana and Lois actually tried to be friends. So it's an interesting twist on their history if you're going through the comics and the cartoons and even Smallville as well to a point. So we then see Superman interrogates the inverted Jonathan who warns him that Ali will invade his universe to expand her control. And Superman asks Jonathan, tell me what her plans are. And Jonathan says, well, you already know what they are. I don't need to tell you. We also see Sam Lane and John Henry Irons inform Superman that they are developing a plan to destroy the extra dimensional portal but Superman is uncomfortable with such a drastic strategy, cutting off both worlds from each other permanently without further consideration of the consequences. Running out of options and with no choice, Superman reluctantly releases Talro from prison to help him out with his next plan. Understandably, Sam and John are not happy about this decision. Natalie Irons reveals to Jonathan and Jordan that she is working on her own version of the steel suit powered by X kryptonite, which she found from the Schuster mines. Meanwhile, as Lois attempts to reconcile with Lana and prove their friendship is genuine, Superman and Tao are intercepted by Ali, who has grown visibly more powerful as she announces she has fully merged with her other half and demonstrates her new abilities. Now, obviously, Superman bringing Tao Ro in rubs everybody up the wrong way, including Lois. We even see Tauro bringing like, a bunch of flowers and apologise. You know, it was great stuff, but Tauro really came through in this episode. I thought he was awesome in this one. And we see Ali incapacitates Tau. Ali seizes the pendant linked to the inverted world portal before engaging with Superman Steel in a high-flying battle. Loved it. Definitely felt like a movie. And that's what I love about this show, is the cinematic feel to... The action and the storytelling, the choreography and the filming, it's just unbelievable. We see Superman reclaims the pendant and still fights Ali to give Superman enough time to destroy it with the help of recuperating Tao inside a nearby volcano. In the aftermath, an intensely frustrated Ali flies away while Tao manages to escape in the confusion, no longer wearing his power dampening handcuffs. Superman observes that Ali's new abilities allow her to drain him of his powers, but he and still are encouraged that they were able to destroy the pendant before Ali could use it towards her mysterious grand plan. Clark and Lois meet with Lana to make sure that the air is clear between them, with Lana assuring them that Clark's secret is safe, but it's best that they maintain their distance while she clears her head. Meanwhile, back in the inverted world, Ali believes that there is still a way for her to scheme and succeed in her plans, and drains her world's tower of his powers until he's nothing left but a shell and a vegetable. More powerful than ever, and with the superpowered Lana by her side, Ali plots to ramp up her contingency plan to merge both universes in one. And that's how we end episode 12. Overall, I thought this was a fantastic episode, and you know, the way they dealt with Lana learning about the Clark's secret identity revelation. I thought that was very good. And I thought they handled it very well. They didn't drag it out too long. And they didn't bash it over our heads. So I thought they did a great job there. And it seems like to me, judging by the way this episode ended, it seems like to me Ali has now become, I would like to say probably the Arrowverse's answer to the Parasite. Parasites, of course, is one of Superman's main enemies. Not one of my favourites because he has the ability to 
drain Superman of his powers and use it against him. So it looks like they're kind of going down this path with Ali becoming some sort of parasite. And Ali draining her Tower Rose powers. Very dark, very scary. So it'll be very interesting to see how that's going to play out in episode 13. But overall, I really like this episode a lot. And this show just continues to keep getting better and better. So that's going to be it for me. I'm going to wrap this up now. What was your thoughts on episode 12? Did you enjoy it? What was your thoughts on the way Lana handled the revelation of Clark's secret identity? Do you think she was justified? Do you think she handled it well? Or do you think it could have been handled in a different way? And also, what did you think of Tal Rowe's role in this episode? Do you think they did a good job with him? Where do you think he's gone? Do you think he'll be back? And do you think he could possibly become an ally for Superman? And also, do you think it's possible that Ali could become this show's parasite after draining her Tower Rose powers? Or do you think there's another way she could become the parasite of this world? And also, how do you think she's going to merge both universes together? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Superman and Lois Season 2 Review Series, where I am going to be talking about Episode 13, which I am very much looking forward to seeing, especially with the way this episode ended. And I'm really pumped to see how this is all going to play out. And I know it's definitely going to be a good one. So until next time, take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.